Greetings, I'm Joseph McKenna, the President and CEO of the Sarasota Orchestra. We were not always the Sarasota Orchestra. It was the bold, forward thinking of our Board of Directors that helped us transform ourselves from the Florida West Coast Symphony to the Sarasota Orchestra. The generative board culture that led to this change was just the beginning. This was not typical for orchestras. Orchestras are historically rooted in deep tradition and are highly resistant to change. After our name change, our education and outreach programs began to grow in both size and quality. Most of all, the orchestra's program became more innovative, more diverse, and reached more people. We intentionally designed new formats to reach out to new audiences while also taking care of our traditional music lovers. None of this was an accident. All of these achievements started by taking risk in the boardroom, making sure we had the right people in the right place before we stepped out on this journey. Perhaps more profound than these wonderful achievements was the risk that we took on the path to our new music director. The process was bold from the start. While it was bold, it was also transparent and inclusive. And where it needed to be, it was highly confidential. The first step was to form a search committee. And the board looked at an untraditional approach. We included two board members, two community members, two staff members, three musicians, and the board felt it was important for the CEO to nominate one member to the search committee. Neither the board chair nor the CEO were members of the search committee. Selecting a chair for the search committee was the next most important task. The board felt strongly about this. They wanted the best person, not a specific position, to lead this search committee. Third, the board was looking not just for a conductor. It was important to the board to have a vision and a strategy to find the best person to lead us to a vibrant future. The board turned the model upside down and accepted that risk. The old path was to search for a conductor and allow them to transform the orchestra. We were more strategic. We set out to combine great music making and community engagement with the best person to make a difference for our art form and community. We have hired Anu Tali to be our new music director. While a brilliant musician and a fantastic conductor, what convinced us that she was right for our position was the success and track record that she had in Eastern Europe, starting the Nordic Symphony in an area of the world where orchestras are generally not privately funded. Best of all, we sought out to find a conductor and in the process made the entire organization stronger. The generative thinking that was exhibited by our board was taken by our search committee and put into a strategic action plan that resulted in the best person to lead the Sarasota Orchestra for the years ahead. It does start with great governance, not governance by process alone, but governance as a culture leading to impactful results. Great governance is what has unfolded at the Sarasota Orchestra and it has formed the cornerstone for our next chapter. Great governance is simply not possible without bold leadership and smart risk. When they both come together, big thinking becomes a reality.
Our board and organization accepts that our future will be shaped by a new economy, changing taste, changes in demography, and certainly the role of technology in our lives. The orchestra recognizes that we live in a social media world. Our organization will also be shaped by the risk we take and the boldness that we demonstrate on our path to the future.